Well, hi everybody. Surprise, I'm in front of the camera lens instead of behind it uh, for a change. I thought uh, for this video I'd feature a recent, fairly recent acquisition of mine. Uh, I think I bought this machine in December of 2018, so a few months ago. It's an early, very early Edison Spring Motor phonograph. Uh, it has the drawer in front. It has uh, the early, very early uh, Frank Capps uh, three ball uh, nickel plated uh, governor motor in it. So it's a little noisy, but it's very, very early, very primitive motor. Uh, the top works are Class M uh, top works. And uh, I have a friend who documents the serial numbers for all of the Edison Triumph phonographs and Edison Spring Motor phonographs. And when I informed him of the serial number on this uh, Edison Spring Motor that I have, he informed me that it is one of the three or four, I think three, uh, earliest uh, serial numbers that he has documented in his database. So it's a, it's a pretty early bird. Um, it's got some really different uh, options or, or uh, parts on the carriage. It's got a little thumb screw uh, that you don't usually see or you only see on the very earliest Class M's. Um, it's, it's an interesting, it's got a United States phonograph company uh, clip for the reproducer. It's got an automatic reproducer, an early automatic reproducer. Anyway, I won't bore with any more of the details. Only uh, phonograph collectors would probably care about what I just talked about. But anyway, I really appreciate your stopping in for a visit. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I hope you enjoy this video. As always, thank you so much for stopping in, folks. Hi everybody, I'm back and here is the spring motor phonograph that I was telling you about. This has the uh, early uh, plated, it's got a, like a badge on the, uh, on the crank. Only the earliest Edison uh, cylinder phonographs, uh, spring motor phonographs anyway, had this, uh, that badge on the crank. As you can see, as with the, uh, the Edison suitcase uh, phonograph that I featured several years ago, uh, it, has, it cranks very, very close to the cabinet. Um, it's got the original um, drawer and extremely early uh, serial number here, 5263. And it, this is uh, Class M Works, and you can tell by this uh, slide here uh, in the casting, uh, the Class M, the earliest Class M's had this in the casting. Uh, it was deleted uh, later on. It has the Class M lugs here. These were, and this actually still has the screws in it for the pulleys uh, that used to be, you know, out here someplace. Um, and uh, so it has all Class M uh, works in it. The, uh, unfortunately, the, I haven't put this back on yet. I removed the, uh, the cutting assembly. Uh, for some reason, it, when I put the cutting assembly on, it doesn't play worth a good gosh darn the extra weight, I'm not sure why, but I, so I've taken it off, so it'll play fine. Uh, a couple of the key early uh, ingredients with this particular one is it has the United States, and I apologize if you can't read that, it's upside down, but it says United States Phonograph Company on this clamp here. This is called an Emerson clamp, and... Uh, it's found on not very many of the uh, 
uh, Edison uh, spring motor phonographs, the very earliest ones. This is the, uh, it has an early automatic reproducer with, uh, it, you know, a lot of your automatics had reproducers stamped in here on this lever. Uh, this one doesn't have it because it's, it's very early. Here's that thumb screw that I was referring to in the intro. It has uh, a thumb screw here um, that's original that tightens down the, uh, the reproducer. Okay, so anyway, and of course it's got the, uh, the adjustable straight edge here that's only on uh, the earliest uh, spring motors. And of course they were on the, uh, the Class M's as well. Brass mandrel, recessed, uh, early, just a, it's an early, early machine. So when we come back, we're going to play it, okay? And this has the caps motor in it too. I wish I could show you the, the, uh, the motor. The motor is quite interesting looking. Anyway, we'll see in a few. Okay, here we are folks with the, uh, my early Edison spring motor phonograph. We're going to play Everybody Works But Father by Bob Roberts. I hope you enjoy it folks. It's one of my favorites. I'll be back, we'll play one more. This is Take a Little Ride with Me by Ed Meeker and Dorothy Kingsley. By the way, this sure sounds like Ada Jones to me. I don't know if Dorothy Kingsley and Ada Jones were the same person. Uh, probably not, but this Dorothy Kingsley sure sounds like Ada Jones to me. I hope you enjoy this. It conjures up a simpler life. You know, just taking a, a ride in a Model T, you know, say in 1908 or something like that, or 1910, it's just just a lovely song. It, it just, when I listen to this song, it kind of just, my mind's eye lapses back to, you know, the simple times that I'm sure uh, people experienced uh, back in the early 1900s. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
just like roses, take a ride into town. How was that? Wasn't that nice? I mean, life was just, must have been, just so much simpler, you know, and just really enjoyable back then. Anyway, I'm going to spin up one more for you, and then we'll call it a day, okay? Hope you enjoyed so far. The last selection on the Edison Spring Motor here is OU Coom. As always, thanks for stopping in, folks. Wasn't that nice? It's a good plan early phonograph, isn't it? Plays really, really nice. Nice and natural. Anyway, folks, thanks so much for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed the video.